What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video we're going to review all the parent functions so that you can easily identify each one. Okay, so there's about 10 that we're going to go over starting with this one right here. So this is known as the constant parent function and it's called the constant one because it's represented by literally just a constant, just a number, okay? And in this case it would be, well, this graph is just a straight line that goes through one, right? So in this case it would just be f of x is equal to one, okay? And this is one of the most basic functions that we can graph, right? Because it's literally just a straight line. Now, the domain and range for a constant function is right here. Okay, so here we can say the domain goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Or another way we can say this is all real numbers. The domain is all real numbers. And that is the symbol for all real numbers, okay? Now, the range is our vertical limits. So here you can see, well, we're basically stuck on this line at y is equal to one, right? So then the range in this case would just be y is equal to one. Okay, so the next function that we have is f of x is equal to x, which is a linear function, okay? And this linear function runs through the origin right here at zero, zero, and it has a slope of one, okay? And the domain and range are both the same in this case. They're both all real numbers. Okay, we also have f of x is equal to the absolute value of x, which when you graph it, it looks like a big V. Well, because it is a big V, okay? So this is the absolute value parent function. And one way I like to kind of remember it is it looks like a big V, right? So absolute value, right? So that's one little way you can remember it. So this half of the V has a slope of positive one, and this half of our graph has a slope of negative one, right? Because it's headed in the negative direction. Okay, and here the domain is all real numbers, right? Because this graph can go in that direction and that direction forever. And the range is y is greater than or equal to zero, right? Because these are our vertical limits. So the very bottom of this graph is right here. And then both of these can go up forever, basically. So that's why the range is y is greater than or equal to zero right there. Okay, next we have f of x is equal to b raised to the x. So this is known as the exponential parent function. And it's exponential because as you can see, the slope over here, it's actually very, it gets very, very close to the x axis, but it never actually touches it. And then uh, the graph runs through this point right here, zero comma one, and then it just keeps increasing, the slope keeps increasing quicker and quicker and quicker. Okay, and the domain for this one is all real numbers, right? Because this graph can go in that direction and basically in that direction slightly forever, right? And then the range in this case would be y is greater than zero, right? Because again, this line, the x-axis is y is equal to zero. But like I said, this graph never actually touches the zero. Okay, so that's why y is strictly greater than zero. Okay, next we have f of x is equal to x squared. So this is the quadratic function, right? The quadratic parent function. And it runs through a few key points. So it always runs through this, the origin right there at zero, zero, and then one, one, uh, two, four, and three, nine. And then it's the same thing on this side, right? Because this is just a parabola and it's symmetrical on both sides, right? So then on this side, it runs through negative one, one, negative two, four, uh, negative three, nine, and so on. Okay, so it always runs through those points for the parent function, this one right here. And the domain is all real numbers. And then the range in this case is y is greater than or equal to zero, right? Because our graph right here definitely touches the origin right there at zero or y is equal to zero, right? The x-axis. Okay, so here we have f of x is equal to the square root of x. So you guessed it, this is the square root parent function, right? And uh, this is basically like half of the parabola and it's on its side. And this also runs through kind of those critical points, zero, zero, one, one. Uh, in this case, it'd be four, two, and then nine, three. Okay, and in this case, the domain is all x values greater than or equal to zero, and the range are all y values greater than or equal to zero, right? And that makes sense because whenever you take the square root of a number, it should be a positive number. So that's why these are greater than or equal to zero because that just means these can only be positive numbers. Next, we have f of x is equal to x cubed, which is known as a cubic function. And it looks kind of like this uh, snake, kind of this tall curvy graph. 
And I don't know, you can think of it any way you want, remember it any way you want. It looks kind of cute. It's kind of a cutie, kind of a cubic function, if that makes sense. So in any case, this function right here always runs through the same few points. It always runs through the origin, one, one, and two, eight. And then it's just basically reflected in this quadrant over here. So again, the origin and then negative one, negative one, and then negative two, negative eight. Okay, and the graph, it's a little hard to tell. It almost looks like it's just going straight up, but it's actually going at an angle in that direction, right? So it's going in the Y direction, vertical, but it's also going in the horizontal direction, right? So that's why the domain is all real numbers. And then the range, it's a little bit more clear, right? The range can go all the way down or all the way up, right? So it's also all real numbers. All right, now we have f of x is equal to the cube root of x. So as you could imagine, this is called the cube root parent function. So it looks almost exactly as that cubic function, but just on its side, right? We got this QD on its side. So it runs through those kind of same points. So it runs through the origin, it runs through one, one, and in this case, it would be eight, two. So it's just kind of flipped, right? Because, well, the function is flipped, or it's on its side anyways. And then it's the same thing this way. So it runs through the origin, then negative one, negative one, and then over here at negative eight, negative two right there. Okay, and then again, the domain and range are both all real numbers. Okay, here we have f of x is equal to 1 over x, and this is known as the inverse, or sometimes called rational function, or parent function. Okay, so it's basically two graphs, and they both kind of just curve around two points. So this point right here at 1, 1, and this point right here at negative 1, negative 1. And the important thing here is that these two graphs never touch the x-axis or the y-axis, right? Those are completely off limits. Okay, so... Uh, this graph right here can basically be any of these negative x values, right, in the negative x direction. And then this graph right here can basically touch any of these positive x values in the positive infinity direction, right? But neither one of them ever touches zero right here, or in other words, the y-axis. Okay, so for the domain, that's why we say it's all real numbers except x can't equal zero, right? Because we can't touch zero. And then it's the same thing for the range. The range is just the vertical limits, right? So those can be any numbers, right? Positive or negative. But we, again, don't touch the x-axis right here, right, right here. So then y cannot be equal to zero. All right, lastly, we have f of x is equal to the log of x. So this is known as the logarithmic parent function, right? So this one, same thing, it gets really close to the y-axis, but it never actually touches. And then it always runs through, again, the parent function, always runs through this point right here, one comma zero. And then another kind of key point here, I guess, would be uh, 10, one. So like right there. Okay, so here the domain is gonna be x is greater than zero, right? Because we never actually touch zero. So that's why we're not using the equal to symbol also, right? So x is strictly greater than zero. And then the range goes from basically negative infinity that way. And then this one is basically always increasing in the y direction slightly. So that's why the range is all real numbers. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.